Yes, so students now present the case. A parallel plate capacitor connected to battery of EMF V, potential difference V. Inside that capacitor, a dielectric slab of almost the same thickness is being slowly inserted. To insert the dielectric slab, how much how much external force is required? How much external force is required to insert the slab very slowly without any acceleration? So that is now present our concept. Yes, here I am assuming some small X length of dielectric slab inside the capacitor, remaining is outside. So that's why here capacitor having two parts. One is in the presence of dielectric medium, another is free space. Its capacitance is C1, its capacitance is C2. C1 and C2 again in the parallel. That's why effective capacitance of present capacitance, that is present capacitor, is C1 plus C2, that is C1 plus C2. Now, electric force acting right side and external force acting left side. This external force, how much? Yes, so students, for a small displacement of this direct slab, just dx, there is a change in capacity. Capacitance change, charge also change. So who, will, who is supplying the charge? Capacitor. Now battery is supplying. That means here, there are two work done. Number one, work done by external agent, that is mechanical work. Another is work done by the battery. So therefore, from law of conservation of energy, work done by external agent, work done by battery is nothing but change in potential energy of a capacity. But here, U, potential energy is a half a CV square. Half a CV square, because potential difference is constant. Charge not constant here. That's why Q square by 2C, we can't write. So U equal to half CV square, DU equal to half into DC into V square. That is change in potential. Now, work done by external agent equal to du minus work done by battery but students work done by battery is a v into dq because dq charge passing through the battery for a small displacement of a dielectric slab that is dx there is an extra charge is a dq that's why work done by battery is a dq into v so du half into dc into v square dw by the battery dq into v but dq equal to dq equal to dc into v that's why dc into v square half dc v square minus dc v square minus 1 by 2 dc into v square minus dc into v square now work done by the external agent yes force this side displacement to this side so that's why minus f external into dx equal to minus 1 by 2 dc into v square so now minus negative cancel Therefore, external force required is 1 by 2 dc by dx into v square. But what is dc by dx? Yes, already see we know. This you need to differentiate. So after differentiate 1 by 2, that derivative L B epsilon naught by d constant plus that constant derivative is 0. k minus 1 x. That's why answer only k minus 1 
B epsilon naught divided by capital D into V square. So this is external force required to insert dielectric slab slowly into parallel plate capacitor, which is connected to a battery. But here, external force is a constant force coming here. It is independent of the X value. But in our previous case, it depends on X, but that is inversely proportional. But here, external force is independent of the location X. 